So let's get started on actually putting some objects for our map together. I'm going to hide some of these things that I don't need. And I'm going to start with just the outline of Australia and really just the mainland in Tasmania. I'm going to ignore some of the other islands. Let's have a look at how we might combine some objects to create other items because you can't always draw exactly what you need. Let's say, for example, that I want to create a circle and I'm just going to have to create a new layer to put this artwork onto. So I'm going to create a new circle and I'll get a black outline and no fill. I create a circle and I pick up a decent stroke. And I in fact decide I do want to fill. So I flick over to my fills and I say blue. But if I pick up that object, I duplicate it in place. I'm going to drag it to new. And I'm going to take this top object, get my scale tool and make it smaller. How do I remove the central object from the background object? Okay, that is most usually accomplished by something called Pathfinder. And you can use Window Pathfinder to bring it up. Now it's a very common operation. I'll leave it floating here for the moment. Pathfinder lets you do Boolean operations on shapes and you can use it in one of these shape modes or one of the more complex and probably slightly more obscure Pathfinders. There is a little bit of overlap between the two. Now if you used Illustrator a long time ago, then you may be used to pressing this and pressing expand. But these days, expand is built in and you have to hold down the option or alt key to get this to not expand. So what is expand? Let's look at this last mode here, which is the one I want, exclude. If I press this button, effectively the center got punched out. Now it's not white in the middle, it has been punched out, but that is now a new compound path. And if you look in the layers panel, it's a single item. It's a compound path. If I undo that and hold down the Option or Alt key this time as I press the button, then it's not a compound path, it's a compound shape, which I can open out and see the two paths inside. Interesting thing about that, it remains editable. I can move this object open and over and it'll just do some interesting things about excluding overlapping areas and including perhaps breaking a little bit if it's on the edge there. So I'll undo that. So why would you want to leave this? Because it allows you to continue to edit it. In all other ways, it functions exactly the same. A compound path and a compound shape will work in very similar ways. But if you think you might ever want to change something, hold down the Option or Alt key as you use these shape modes. I'll just make some shapes so I can show you quickly how these uh, different objects combine. And I'll make them in different colors so you can see. I'm also going to make a few copies with a bit of Alt Option dragging. So we've seen what Exclude does. If I use this first shape mode, they will unite and they will become the same color, the same stroke. They are in fact now one shape. If I use the second one here, minus front, it simply takes the front object away. That's pretty straightforward as well. And this one, intersect, will be left with the intersecting area. Remember that all of these, if I hold the Option or Alt key, the original objects will still be in existence, meaning you can move them around, which is quite an interesting option and one which I would recommend unless you're certain you got it right first time. Let's have a look at a practical example of when I might use these compound paths. If I've got my outline of Australia, I could certainly fill that in with a color. Let's go with green, but you'll notice that Tasmania here has been left out. If I select my outline of Australia and I hold down the shift key and select the outline of Tasmania as well. These are two separate paths. I want them to be together, so I'm going to unite them. Now they're all the one item. Now it looks like it's a group and that's fine. If I select one, it selects them both. 
Illustrator will be doing the right thing. If you need the unite shape mode, in this case, all I need to do is effectively group them. So that's what it's done for me.